Tina and I, we have been in a relationship with Academy Performing Arts based in Woolwich and they're sponsored by GLL which is a sports and leisure um, company or enterprise I guess you can say and we've been working with them for a while and we also set up a youth company which are doing really well now and we've always kept a relationship with them sometimes we get free space where we can rehearse doing our own thing or a lot of the time we go and teach workshops in schools for them and um, there's a yearly sports -a -thon, which we're a part of where we teach over the week over maybe 2,000 young people, which is really great. Luckily in London, it's half term, so there's no classes going on at GRL this week. So luckily we were able to use the studios, two studios, and we thought, let's bring our skills from abroad into London and invite dancers all across the UK from in Northern and Leeds, from Scotland, from Wales, anywhere possible into the studio to work with us and we invite them into the space. Uh, it was quite scary because we wasn't sure if people were going to come. We know our stuff is quite physical and quite difficult and we're quite successful out of the UK but it's one of the first times we're kind of opening a space for a whole week in London so it was a risk. So we just put an ad out to see what, what dancers are interested to work with us and what will come out of it um, and luckily we had a big 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 response and then alongside having this training day we decided to also have interns people wanted to know our process of how we create how do we make movement what pushes us what holds us back so we decided to add out for interns as well so we've had four beautiful dancers that two of them are studying in London no two, one is studying in London and one is also in Leeds and we've also got two professionals one from Toronto and one that's also based in Belgium and we've just been leading them through the training day um, which will be class and then repertoire and then creative and then we work closely with them for the evening where they'll one, start to experience our duet and help us in our creation so we can test our ideas out on them. And then also we're working with them to create a solo. By the end of the week they will perform the solo. Um, and it's just giving them more ways of thinking about how to perform, how to devise. And it's the beginning stages for the students' assessment, but then for the professionals it's the beginning stages for their performance that they can sell to festivals or maybe develop into a group choreography, who knows. So we've divided the intensive session into three parts. One was a contemporary class, one was a rep, a rep class where we teach our material, and one was creative. Within the contemporary class, so we say contemporary, but we like to use elements from all walks of dance. We used to start, we started dance with hip hop, and then we went into African dance, and then we learn Katak now, and we think it's really beautiful that people can bring other styles into dance. So. It's more a dance class, actually. Um, our stuff is very physical. Uh, we call it dynamics, rhythm and texture because we're focusing on dynamics, different energies. So rather than going 100%, you can go 80%, you can go 30%. But if you go 100%, you've earned the right to go to 0%. So we work a lot with accelerating, giving an impulse to release. And we do a lot of movements in and out of the floor, a lot of technical movements, and a lot of movement that brings you to exhaustion. And we're quite famous for saying that exhaustion creates honesty. And that's what we like to do with our dancers, get them through a state, get them through an emotional journey to the point where they feel like their mind says no, but their passion in their body keeps them going. And that's what we're trying to bring for our session. Because we're quite physical dancers, but we're interested in how you can play with opposition. The more physical you are, how soft can you be? But to push to that physicality. We're really also interested in exhaustion. Um, the only reason why we push exhaustion is to get the dancers to a state where they can be honest. A state where they don't have to, they don't have to fight or be fake. They can just do what's necessary at the time. And there's no show off movements. They can just be who they are right now. And the class consists of kind of, a bit of combinations in and out of the floor. Um, we definitely push the stamina, coordination, and just physicality to get the body to move to the maximum. 
If you're meant to be small, we make sure you're compact. If we're going to extend your body, you're going to touch the ceiling and then touch the walls. Um, we like to push every individual to the maximum. There's a process. Um, we're lucky that we had a week, so they had five days to experience it. Always the first day is kind of a post-traumatic stress, we call it. It's a shock to the system. Um, but it is a process and we know we push people to um, the limit, but the mind stops you before your body is ready. Your mind is always going to say, no, 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 that's enough. Um, so it is interesting to see how people react to the class, but that's what makes it interesting for us, is how can we get them to push through? How can we get them to produce what we know they can do? Well, we, we call them survivors. So we have some people that follow us from different workshops. So we're like, you survived, you made it. But we always say the first day is quite traumatic for them. Uh, it's a shock. It's an experience, they're awake. But throughout the week, you can see it's a process and they're, you can see people becoming more determined, more passionate, more engaging. And we have really good responses. And it's really inspiring for us because we're not just dictating, we're learning as well as giving. So it's a two-way process. As much as we're pushing them, they're pushing us because we can see that they can handle it. So that's why we can push a little bit more, inspire. We're very, we focus a lot on positive energy. Um, I think it's really important to keep the energy light in the studio, even if we're working deep and heavy, but it's really important for us that it's a positive energy. When you're in a stuck, a sticky situation, we say put your mind somewhere light, somewhere positive. Think of the music, think of what you're gonna eat tonight, somewhere that can get you going. So we're really interested in keeping everyone positive. So we've had an idea for many years and we didn't know what, we just knew we had an interest and we had an interest of this theme since we were young. We grew up with detective films, we, we even had like Nancy Drew um, detectives, we watched many different crime programs, uh, prison documentaries. Well not recently but we've had kind of a family drama that's happened something really personal and it kind of awoken our, our inspiration or sort of our ideas that we've been working towards. So that was kind of the style of it and from touring together we managed to go to San Francisco, we went to Alcatraz and we did an audio tour where you can hear different testimonies, different stories, different voices of inmates that have been trapped in Alcatraz and you start to have a sense of empathy. You start to feel for the inmates, even though they're, they're in there for a reason. And that kind of contrast was really interesting for us. It, we've never been in that situation, but we always like to put ourselves, we find an honest way to get through a theme. And being sisters, I feel occasionally that I could be quite trapped because I'm, there's two of me. We're one person, there's two of us. Like, it's quite difficult to be an individual. We left thinking, that's it, we need to start. Let's just go in the studio and put ideas together. We always start from basic beginning. Let's just play with movement ideas, movement qualities. We know the theme we're interested in, but let's just go first stage one. And then slowly we develop the movement, then we develop how to bring the theme in. Um, also. To focus on prison is a big, big story. You can go the peep, you can go from the families outside of prison. You can think about one specific prison mate. You can think of the officers. There's, it's a big range. Um, so we managed to find a few individuals and stories and words and sounds that we sparked our interest. And we've just been playing with that at the moment. So in the sense of working with the theme of being incarcerated by following you know, people see you as one thing. 
I feel the same as people see me as a twin and not someone else. And that's kind of sparked how we've been working on our duet. We started with the physicality first, just because we like to work with layers, that rather than going from an ambitious intention, we thought, let's start simple, let's generate some material, and then we can explore with this material by adding themes, by adding emotions, by adding restrictions to make possibilities. And we've performed 20 minutes of it so far uh, this summer in 2016, where we we're kind of testing out movement ideas, testing out music, testing out ideas in the space and how we work together. And we're still developing it now. We don't want to rush to find to get to the ending, but we know we have to perform in 2017. But we're going to take the process a step at a time, adding the layers, keep being inspired and adding ideas. Mm -hmm.